in this video I'm gonna show you how to know what would be the optimal number of replication how many times I should repeat how many runs I should consider for it to be optimal to, 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 to be confident to say I am with 95% confidence in Tierville but before I start explaining this I showed in another video how this model has been built so if you want to go back to it Okay, so let's let's explain one little concept before we start. Saying you're simulating a one day of work, one day of work in a supermarket, and your day is, for example, of six hundred minutes, which is really of equal to ten hours. Okay, but how would you know? 10 hours as so this is one replication so if you did if you do so this is one replication but if you manage to build the software in the simulation of simulating the whole day of work in your uh, service station which is supermarket or a plant would you just run the system for one time one day if it is a simulation of the computer or you run it for a very 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 a big number of replication the number of replication should be minimum of 30 minimum of 30 which is a borderline between normal distribution z and t distribution but literally how many number of replication we need to run the system so the question here is like how many number of replication is enough is considered enough okay in simul 8 this is done in two seconds it's really easy and very straightforward now when i click to to, to, to use the software those writings are going to disappear so what i do i have to go to home run child run child calculator which is really easy so here we have 95 percent confidence interval will be within percentage of the estimated of the mean and I'm gonna say okay. So you could see here how it's moving into the system and we need 19 uh, replication. So I'm gonna consider another example just to clarify things a little bit more. So if I, if I run again the system and if I click, sorry, if I click here on results and so we have the average. So I need the working complete in the system and, and for example, the um, uh, if I come here to Q, sorry, cancel result. So the average time in the system, average waiting time, excuse me. Oh no, average number of working items in the system. I'm really sorry, average number of people or items waiting. And we have the queuing time, which is the average. So I'm gonna consider the average time and the average number of people or units. What I'm doing right here, so when you click on Q, Okay, and then you have results. So whenever you like one and you want this displayed and your result, you just right click on it. So by default it's displayed. So if you right click again, so it's gone. Okay, so when it's bold, which means like now you can see it in the result. So if I go back to home, so I have number completed, average time in system, average queue size, average queuing time. Okay, so if I go back to run trial, and then later and I say I need them all usually no one consider all of them I'm just trying to explain a point so here you could see like when you're in that little gray area which means you are literally getting closer to 95% confidence in interval you could see the one at the start it takes time to, to steady state okay so over here this is like extremely extremely important so what you need here you need 90 replication consider enough for this uh, output 170 is considered enough for this specific output and 132 considered enough for this specific output so you need literally you need uh, well you, you won't do this testing for all output you will be interested in a couple of them so you have to take the worst case scenario which in this case 170 Okay, so I'm going to click OK and then I'm going to say, you could see the value here, 170. Okay. 
Another thing which is extremely important, based random number setup. Uh, you know how it's like in different software simulation, every time you run it for one replication, you always come up with the same results. Simul8 is a little bit advanced in that aspect. So you could select from like a pool of samples rather than always ending up with the same result for the same replication. Okay, so it's just like an added functionality. So when you put here, for example, you put 50, 50 or 500 pool of samples, and then you say apply and try and set up, run trial, and we're getting the value here, the one. So if I make this bigger, so you have uh, every time in system is between 26.33, 27.14, number of unit 330, it's all average value, 335. So this is a half, it's 95% uh, confident interval, lower 95%, higher 95%, okay? So if you want more result, all I have to do, click on result, select the one you want like how many blocked, how many we're working on, what's currently in activity, how many number of work item on average in the system, anything you would want there, there. If you click on advanced, I need to show you this, it's like really important. So you have select random numbers and here auto change random number on every restart. So here you have to take this one. So in a way you're telling it, go and pick a new different set of value. This is extremely important, okay? So uh, let's recap what I've done here. So uh, what we did here, how to optimize the number of replication, or how is a, you call it here, and like how many runs to optimize the number of runs, but letting the computer finding it rather than trial and error. In Arena, it was literally trial and error. Like, you keep increasing the number of replications till the half width, so it's like really little value. While here, the system would run and it would test it on your behalf. And that's what we did. So, you select the output you're interested in and you run it, and you'll end up with different value for the optimal number of trials. And you have to take the worst case scenario, which is the highest value of the number of trials. Once you do so, so you make sure the system or the output you're obtaining is 95% confidence in fever. As well as one more thing, which is extremely important, advanced uh, uh, random sampling. So you need auto change random number on every start. What does that mean? Literally is meaning like you have a pool of samples. So every time you're picking one of those rather than ending up with the same value. And on all softwares, when you run it for one replication, you always come up with the same value. If it is different computer, different value. But if you're using your terminal, it's always ending up with the same value for all numbers. So when you, you have a pool of data or samples, so you're just like picking one from the large set of pool, and which is very, very, very important. Okay, so you could do it both ways, either here, home, try and set up, and you put here like 500 or 5,000, any value you want. Okay, and run trial, and this value we obtained from the trial calculator, right? So if you have any question, please let me know. Thank you.